Have you ever found yourself drifting through memories, transported by um, a familiar scent or even an old photograph? Well, that, my friend, is the power of nostalgia. It's a bittersweet longing for the past that can bring both uh, comfort and melancholy at the same time. But what if I told you that nostalgia is more than just a fleeting emotion? There's actually a lot of studies that have revealed that this wistful reminiscing can actually boost our well-being. It increases our empathy, it reduces our stress, and even makes us feel physically warmer. So, if it's winter, good on you. This is great. So, how can we harness the benefits of nostalgia without getting lost in the depths of our memories? Hmm. Well, let's find out. I'm Chad Lawson, and let's comment down in three, two, one. So if you would, picture nostalgia as an iceberg. The tip above the water represents our fondest memories, while the bulk beneath the surface holds the challenges and the growing pains that we have faced. (laughs) Which one is larger, right? Because when we dive into nostalgia, it's really important to remember that we are seeing our past through a filtered lens, let's be honest. Just like those one-hit wonder songs that transport us back to a memory or a wonderful time, nostalgia has a way of amplifying the good times and softening the rough edges. Here's the thing. Getting stuck in the past, it can prevent us from embracing the present. If we are constantly comparing our current selves to what used to be, we actually risk missing out on the growth and the wisdom that we've gained along the way. So how do we find the balance between cherishing our memories and living fully in the now? Well, one key is to use nostalgia as a source of inspiration rather than a benchmark for comparison. Reflect on your past achievements, right? And let them encourage or fuel your confidence and motivation for what's next, what you're wanting to pursue. Celebrate how far you've come and the obstacles that you've overcome. But remember that your best days They are not behind you. They're the ones that you're mindful enough to fully experience. Your best days are not behind you. If you find yourself yearning for the past eh, a little too often, take it as a sign that you're ready for a new chapter. I'm going to say that again. If you find yourself yearning for the past a little too often, take it as a sign that you are ready for a new chapter. Embrace the discomfort of change and let it move you forward. Try a new hobby, switch up your style, or surround yourself with some new ideas and perspectives. Letting go of the past doesn't mean that you are erasing it. It means making space for the person that you are becoming. So this week, I invite you to take a thoughtful dive into your own nostalgic iceberg. Set aside some time to flip through old photos or listen to songs that hold special memories. Let yourself feel the full range of emotions that surface. There probably will be some gratitude and some laughter, some tears, some joy, maybe even some grief for what's been lost. But honor your past self and all that you've experienced, okay? But I want you to remember the importance of swimming back to the surface and embracing the present moment with all of its imperfections, yet with all of its possibilities. Because as you navigate this deep dive into the ocean, be gentle with yourself. Growth as you know, is never really seen. I mean, think about the iceberg, how large it is underneath the water. 
And it's okay to take a dip in the pool of nostalgia from time to time. I just want you to remember, come up for air and appreciate the view of where you are today. So as you dive into the depths of your memories, I want you to know that you are not alone. We are all swimming through currents of change, learning to cherish our past while creating a brighter future. To trust, trust that your best days are still unfolding and that every experience, both sweet and bitter, they have shaped you into the incredible person that you are today. Thank you for joining me on this journey of finding balance in our memories. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, be kind to your mind and join me again as we calm it down. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, see where I may be appearing in your area, or to simply want to know where to send me some chocolate chip cookies, visit calmitdownpodcast.com. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and not intended, nor should they, serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other health care provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you. And you should only act upon the advice of this physician. Now, I'm an extreme empath by nature. But my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or a physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this in future podcast episodes to aid those needs. So to find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CometDownPodcast.com. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review, or better yet, share it with a friend. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come, as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of mental and emotional health. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, be kind to your mind, and join me again as we calm it down.